Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is King of Quant. This is part three out of three for the Tableau NBA simulation game series. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. So let's take our dashboard and um, what we're gonna want for the size is 1000 by 900. Uh, just keep it a fixed size. It's a little bit easier that way and it translates to other people's computers a little bit easier. Um, so let's take the, uh, let's take a container. Anytime you put a sheet on a dashboard, you wanna use a container uh, generally. We're gonna want two horizontal containers um, side by side. On the left container, we want home court. And on the right container, we want the away court. And that's pretty much how you should have expected it to be. Um, based on looking at the dashboard already. So next we can see, we can line up our filters with who's actually on the court. Uh, on the home court, we have Kyrie. Uh, so we're gonna take our filter with Kyrie and put him above the court with Kyrie. And then that leaves the other filter to go above the other court, which is pretty much how it should be. Um, let's go ahead and fill in our other players real quick. Let's just grab a shooting guard. Um, we'll grab Alan Crabb um, for whatever reason. And then we need a small forward. Let's go with, um, let's see, Jay Crowder. Yeah, let's go with Jay Crowder. Um, and that leaves us needing a power forward. Um, let's see if we can go with Christian Wood. And looks like the home team is now fully loaded. Um, one thing we do want to do is go over to our home court sheet and then just edit the title uh, to, and have it say home court. Uh, make that um, Tableau bold uh, size 15 and just center it up. And that should be good to go. Uh, we'll do the same thing with the away court edit the title of the filter to say away team and we will do the same formatting tableau bold size 15 and color uh color will stay black uh, centering will be center so looks good now if we go to our dashboard we can see we've actually got some some color to our dashboard and some minor formatting so on the away team, we need to go ahead and add some players in there. Let's add um, Al Horford in there and put, um, let's see, we need a shooting guard. Um, Alec Burks, sure. And now we need a small forward and we'll put um, Iguodala in there. So now both our teams are loaded up completely. Um, you're really starting to see where where we're going. Like the the visualizations are finally coming together, um, looking pretty good. So next step will be to go to the layout tab, and at the very bottom you can see your item hierarchy, which is pretty nice uh, to be able to see kind of a layering of how the dashboard is uh, constructed. So we're gonna click the away team filter and go up to background now and change that to the red color. And that's the same red color that we used for the bar chart. And that's really just to bring continuity to the entire dashboard. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the home filter and pick that blue background. And that will be nice and consistent. Um, and as you can see, the text for the labels for the filters also uh, is continuous with the white text for white uh, player names and then black text for black player names. So that's pretty, pretty nice. Um, next step is gonna be to add a vertical container to the very bottom of this dashboard and then we're gonna add another vertical container right above or below it, doesn't really matter. We're gonna take our home score and put it in the top one and the away score and put it in the bottom one. Then we just want to hide our titles in both of those sheets um, and then set these to fit the entire view. And then pick the same thing for the other one. 
set to fit and entire view. So that's pretty nice. Uh, really getting close. Uh, let's go ahead and resize these down to fit appropriately for the dashboard. Um, it looks pretty good. Uh, really good actually. Next step is going to be to take uh, two vertical containers and put them on the left side of both of these um, bar charts. And we're just going to put text inside of both of those containers. We're going to set one to uh, home and with a colon after that, make it size 15. And we're going to keep that black text to, con to contrast with the black background. Um, hit OK, and then we're going to put the text in for the away team. And that is going to be, once again, Tableau Bold, size 15, and make sure to set it to black text. And that's just going to be away with a colon. Next, we just want to resize both the bar charts so that they line up with the text and with each other. And that looks pretty good. Um, we're going to want to change one thing on the home score and away score. Uh, so if you already hid your header, just click the, um, click the little, uh, pill in the column tab and hit show header. And then in the header, in the pane, right click that and hit edit axis and set that to fixed. And we're going to change that to 80 at the low end and 130 at the high end. And that's just so that they don't reformat to automatically, um, fill up the entire uh, cell, the entire um, container in the dashboard because otherwise it would just, um, they'd always look like they were tied even though the exact numeric value would be completely different. So you can hide your header again and we're gonna do the same thing with the away score. Just hit show header, we're gonna edit the axis, set it to fixed, 80 on the low end and then 130 on the high end and then hide your header again. And now we're good. If we go back to the dashboard, um, that'll be a little bit cleaner uh, once we add the filters. And this is pretty much the final step, finally. Um, what you'll wanna do is go up to the home court filter uh, and hit the little drop down arrow. And then we're going to go over to apply to worksheets and hit selected worksheets. Automatically, it's gonna to apply to home court because that is where the the filter is um, primarily located. We're just gonna add that to the home score. Um, and then we're good to hit okay. And then we want to go to the away team uh, filter, apply to worksheets, select the worksheets, and then hit away score and then hit okay. So that's pretty much it. As you can see now we are at the point where uh, we can see our home score at the bottom and our away score, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so guys, I think that's it. Um, I really think this builds a strong foundation on a really great interactive dashboard. Let me know, drop a comment down below uh, with all your suggestions. Um, once again, this is not a very difficult dashboard, definitely not mathematically correct, calculating the team scores. Um, but really we're focusing on Tableau fundamentals rather than statistical, um, and predictive fundamentals, uh, for NBA team scores. So I think that covers just about everything. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe down below. Uh, keep an eye out. There will be more series coming, whether it's in Tableau or some other software program. Uh, I'll try and keep them to about the same kind of format where they're about 10 to 15 minutes long. Uh, and comment if you have any requests, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.